see you standing there intensely and hungrily. You're just looking at me. You do not break eye contact. Something about you is pulling me towards you. I seem to fall into your eyes. They seem so old, so wise, so aware of all human abysses. And I get the feeling you understand. You know what it's like. And with this look, you show me what misses in my life. And I feel this pain. Could you be the one for me? I'll be the one for you. You make me feel this pain. This wish inside, this hope that there is someone who gets me, who calls me by my name, with whom I can feel safe without words, with whom I can hide from all the shit around that constantly overwhelms and confuses me. Someone who appreciates my bluntness and my honesty and wants me for who I am and not my nice giveaways that come with the product. Someone who's at least as fucked up as I am, who just openly says what he needs and wants from me, who is over this childish idiocy of locking other people out, who also fights the sudden toxicity of not speaking out loud all expectations he has of me. Someone who knows that independence is required for respect and love, and who willingly satisfies my need for proximity, with whom I do not feel lonesome, who doesn't try to restrict me or my territory, who respects my need for freedom, and who loves my passion and devotion, my ambition, and understands Understands my need for friction and gets that I look and act like a cat but I love like a fucking dog. I tried to remember what I promised myself to not hope for so much in a man anymore. To first look closely at him, to allow my brain to work properly, to not silence it by all this crazy biology that still appears to completely trick me and make a fucking fool out of me. I tell myself that all I feel, all I see in you is just a projection of myself. My needs, my wishes, my values are colorfully painted on you cause you're just a blank canvas that will reveal its own colors and structures and levels after a certain time. And by the time I will have realized that this is not what I was hoping for because at the night we make it just for drinking and only because of that were you direct and honest and talkative and connecting and I won't be what you were so big for because at that night we met I didn't need and want anything from you and now I do then you will say how demanding I am and I will say how inactive and passive aggressive you are I will say that I only need to feel you and I need you to limit me when I start fighting with you and that I only came after you this intensely because you avoid us and hide from me then you will say that you ain't got the balls to beef how you hate any kind of conflict and that if I don't stop the shit you will have to leave and then I'll be afraid to make another mistake and I'll withdraw and ignore my needs I will get this limited focus where I only try to please you with candies and begin to kiss your ass and won't even recognize anymore what I want and feel I need and only try to succeed in keeping you by swallowing everything while you will turn out to be as cold as ice when it comes to loving me in tough times and then at an inappropriate moment all suppressed frustration inside of me will overflow and I will know how unreasonable my behavior is and I will hate myself for that and I don't have the balls anymore to explain to you that it's fucking both of us producing this vicious circle of approach and withdrawal and at the end you will feel right about ending this relationship and I'll be glad that you ended it because now after months of fear and feeling inadequate I can finally feel good at least a little less sad and be a friend to myself again I will feel strong and confident go to parties and meet interesting men who will just be standing there intensely look at me and finally I'll begin to see that be the one for me and I definitely can't be the one for you man and I can't be the one for you <laughs> when this guy starts flirting with me I will answer him delightfully leave me the fuck alone <laughs>